I know you're here for that 30 minute strength workout, so let's go. It is day 14 of the Back on Track September Challenge. Whether you are doing the challenge or not, today's gonna be a killer strength training workout. We're gonna be doing four circuits, four exercises in each circuit. We're gonna go 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna utilize two medium to heavy dumbbells. We are not gonna be jumping around. High intensity is going to be strength focused. So neuromuscular connection, really focus on those contractions and those compound movements. Go at your own pace, modify if you guys need to. Make sure you can see the screen because when that screen changes color, that is your time to rest and preview the next exercise. We are building strength to define our muscles and help lose body fat at rest. Make sure your body is warmed up because it's time to get started. First circuit, first exercise. We're gonna deadlift, left leg, single leg deadlift. We're just going on that left side first, alternating between a regular deadlift, back is flat, hinge those hips back, and a single leg. Bring your right foot right behind the heel to help balance. Keep those shoulder blades together. That's gonna help keep your back nice and flat. We're gonna start with a single arm chest press for two on each side, and then press it together for two. And you're just gonna alternate between that combo, two singles each side, and two doubles. Make sure your elbow is slightly below your shoulder line. That's gonna help protect all those ligaments in your chest and shoulder. Keep that core nice and tight and come all the way down to the mat. Gonna go on that right side as your lead leg for the single leg deadlift deadlift down come all the way up single leg deadlift modified you're only modifying it because that back leg is helping you keep your balance if you want to progress you can go to a single leg up in the air it's up to you raise that dumbbell lean back forward and down bring it up lean back this is working your core and your hip flexors back so you're keeping your hips in line you're not dropping them you're keeping your glutes tight lean back as far as you can you will feel a stretch in those hip flexors make sure that core is nice and tight belly button in
two windmills. My feet are pointed towards the left. Press up with the right hand. Keep that core tight. Shift those hips back and bring that dumbbell down. So press, shift, and then back down. Keep the abs real tight, guys. Press that dumbbell straight up and back down. little bit of a push pull we're going into a single arm row my left elbow is sitting on my left knee back is flat row that elbow towards your pocket okay keep that chest up don't round your back keep it nice and flat again row elbow back towards your pocket keep your shoulder away from your ear abs are tight my stance is nice and wide Same thing with the left side. Now my feet are pointing towards the right. Press it up, shift your hips back, point that dumbbell towards the ceiling as you come up. And squeeze that outside of the glute. Go down as far as you can. Modify if you need to. Same thing on that left side, bent over single arm row. My right elbow is on my right knee, nice and comfortable. I have a nice athletic stance below me, rowing that elbow back towards my pocket. Really focus on bringing that scapula, retracting it back, and follow through with your elbow.
swing, come down, swing, and then up. So pop it down, pop that booty down, and bring it up. Get the rhythm if you want to try it without your dumbbell first to get the rhythm. Go as slow as you need to. I'm using one dumbbell. Back stays nice and flat, eyes forward. lunge left foot back t-row come up and front raise back t-row 
So same arm for that T row and front raise. You can use a little bit of momentum if that dumbbell is heavy on the front raise in that isolation movement. Back and up guys, you got it, back flat. We get down, the clock is ticking, but I don't mind cuts. I'm all out of good luck, and I got nothing, nothing to lose, oh no. It's got it right to own me, got it on my Both dumbbells, pull it over. Arms are nice and long, all the way to the mat right here. Squeeze under your arms and your lats, pull over towards your chest. Soft bend in the elbow, but you're not bending and extending on the elbow. Your pivot points below your shoulder in your lat muscle. Pull it over, make sure that lumbar is nice and tight against the mat. Left side and raise. So you're lunging back with that left foot. Left arm comes up into a T row. Use that momentum and bring that dumbbell up in the front. Make sure your right foot, your heel is planted, nice and firm. That's gonna be your pivot leg. Make sure it's nice and strong.
circuit single leg bridge other leg is just up in the air you can use one or two dumbbells up to you or no dumbbells whatever you prefer but push yourself that heel should be right underneath your knee close to your booty push up as high as you can my dumbbells are resting right on my hip flexors push up squeeze and back down Legs nice and wide, alternating Arnold press. So dumbbells are right in front, palm is facing you. Rotate out to the side, press it up. Elbow back down and rotate that dumbbell back in front of you. Keep your spine nice and tall, abs are in tight. Okay, no slouching on your back. Keep that spine real tall, guys. Alternate, nice and slow and controlled. <music> Same thing, single leg bridge on that right leg, push up, squeeze. If your leg is too far, if your foot's too far from your booty and you're gonna feel it in your hamstring and you wanna target that booty, so bring that heel back towards your glute. Make sure you hold. Give me a little pause at the top. Supinated row, palms face away from you. Row and up. Legs are nice and straight. Hinge those hips back. Row and come up. This is getting middle of your back. We've done a bunch of rowing this workout. Having a strong back is so important for posture. Okay? Row those elbows back towards your hips. Shoulders away from your ears, okay? <laughs>
finished day 14 strength check it off for the day you guys killed it thank you so much for joining me if you are doing the back on track challenge i'm so proud of you we were almost halfway through this program is meant to instill change in the body if we're not changing guys we are not growing and remember just because you might have not burned a lot of calories in today's workout does not mean that you didn't get a great workout a strength workout is slower you're not going to get your heart rate up as high as in some of my other workouts like a metcon or a body weight hit if you have not already make sure you like and comment let me know you are out there if you have not subscribed join the level up community make sure you have downloaded my september back on track program it is free go to my website leveluppurf.com put in your email address and subscribe and download that pdf that is my gift to you i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you at the next workout